What's up guys, Laneface here and I'm back with another Final Fantasy 7 video and today I'm going to be going over limit breaks. I had some people asking me if I would go over how to unlock and level them up. So in this video I'm going to be doing just that as well as showing you good places to level them up really fast, how they all work, where to get everyone's fourth limit break, and then I'll be showing off everyone's limit break at the end. So if you enjoy this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and let's get into it. All right, so with the exception of Vincent and Kate Sith, and before I go any further, I know that that's not how you pronounce Kate Sith's name, but I've been doing it for the last 20 years and I'm just gonna keep on doing it. So anyway, besides those two, everyone has four limit break levels with two limits per level with the exception of the fourth limit break. To unlock the next level, you need a certain number of kills and to unlock the second limit in that level, you need to use the first one a set number of times. Let's look at Red 13 for example. When you first get him, you only have Sled Fang. After you use Sled Fang a set number of times, you're going to unlock Lunatic High. And after you've gotten a set amount of kills, you're going to unlock Blood Fang. Then after using Blood Fang a set number of times, you're going to unlock Stardust Ray and so on. The number of times you use a limit break and the number of kills you need to get the next level vary, so let's go over that now. I'll leave a link in the description for the page I'm on now, but this will tell you exactly what you need to unlock everything. So as you can see, you need 72 kills to unlock the level two limit break, and you'll need to use Sled Fang eight times to unlock Lunatic High. The number of kills and limit break uses vary slightly with each character, so check out the link in the description if you want the exact numbers. To unlock the final limit break, you have to have every other limit break unlocked, and you'll need a special item unique to each character. Here you'll notice I unlocked Yuffie's level 3 limit break gauntlet, but I haven't unlocked the second level 2 limit break. I could skip it and start working on level 3, but if I want to unlock her level 4 limit break, I'll need to unlock the second level 2 at some point. Now before I go any further, let me mention Vincent and Kate Sith real quick. Vincent has one limit break per level, and you only need kills to unlock the next level. So for him, you don't have to worry about using his limit break a certain number of times. Kate Sith only has two limit breaks and only one per level. You need only 40 kills to unlock his second limit break. It's super easy. Now that we understand how to level up limit breaks, let me show you a couple of good places to get them leveled up really fast. So for getting kills, I like to go to the Mithril Mines. Really anywhere in here is fine. You'll always get three to five enemies in every battle with a rare exception of this happening. Also, if you have the enemy skill Matra Magic, you can use that to kill all enemies in one shot. So you can kill a high number of enemies really fast here. And then, if you want to use your limit breaks really fast, just make sure that you have a hyper on your character, and then go someplace where there's an enemy that does a fair amount of damage, and just let them hit you until you get your limit break, use it, and then repeat. Okay, so we've unlocked everyone's limit breaks. Now we just need to get the fourth and final limit break. To get clouds, you need to compete in the battle square and get 32,000 points. Then just simply redeem your points for Omni Slash. SIDS is found in the sunken Galinka, which you can go to after you acquire the submarine. Red 13's is found in the Shinra Mansion in Nibelheim. Open the safe and beat the boss lost number to get Cosmo Memory. Aerith's is one of the trickier ones to get. When you get the buggy, take it to Costa del Sol. Make sure you drive into Costa del Sol with the buggy. Head back onto the ship you took to get to that continent the first time and leave Junon. You'll still have your buggy with you. Now head north past the mithril mines and you'll see a marsh that you can drive over. There will be a cave with a sleeping man in it. When the first two digits of the number of times you fought are the same, he'll give you an item. Usually I get the bolt ring first. Then the second time I'll get some mithril, which is what you're after. Then once you get the tiny Bronco, head over to the weapon maker's house east of Gungaga and give him some mithril. He'll let you take an item either from the big box or the small one. Inside the small one is Aerith's final limit break. 
To get Yuffie's, you'll need to have her side quest done first, then you can have her compete in climbing the Pagoda Tower. Once she beats the final boss, she'll be awarded with her final limit break. To get Barrett's, you just need to complete the huge Materia train mission. After your stay at the inn, head to the house right below it and talk to this lady and she'll give you Catastrophe. To get Tifa's, head back to Nibelheim after Clouds rejoin your party and go to her room and play the piano. To get Vincent's, you'll need either a green, black, or gold chocobo, or the submarine. Head over to this waterfall, and you'll have some dialogue to go through. Once you're done, leave, and after 10 battles, head back and you'll receive his final limit break and ultimate weapon. Once you get the item and you have all other limit breaks unlocked, simply find the item and give it to the correct character. So there you have it. That's everything you need to know about limit breaks. And to cap it off, let's take a look at everyone's limit breaks.